Jeremy Tracy here of Tracy Crokinole Boards. What you're about to watch is the final match between myself and my good friend Simon Dowerk who came over for a bit of a battle down in our basement. Before we get into that, I'd like to give a huge shout out and a thank you to our good friend Nathan Walsh over at Crokinole Center. He hooked us up with the, uh, I guess you'd call it the ESPN scoring, the banner across the bottom that keeps track of the score, the 20, how many buttons are left, which we feel that along with the commentary just makes the matches a lot more fun and engaging to watch it's easier to to know what the situation in in the round is so huge thank you to Nathan be sure to check out his channel if you haven't already and as soon as competitive crokinole starts up again I am sure you'll see more fantastic crokinole showing up on his channel now for this match just a little bit of a, an explanation as to what goes on when we play when two of us sit down and play head-to-head -head here just at home we just uh, will play a number of matches that are just four round NCA matches so so yes, they could end up in a tie, but we just play like on this day, I believe Simon and I played five matches. And then our final match of the day, how we like to do it is it is a race to nine, just so there's no chance of a tie. There's a clear winner and it just more replicates the experience that you have at a, at a more official tournament. So that's what you're going to get to watch. Please let us know, do you enjoy seeing this content? Like uh, Simon and I played six matches against each other, but I'm hoping that people enjoy it with the commentary it will allow you to one, enjoy watching Crokinole, but two, maybe learn a bit about the strategy that goes in to competitive Crokinole. Enjoy the match and make it a great day. Welcome back to the Tracy Board Studio yet again as we have the grand finale of the Jeremy Tracy versus Simon Dower battle that went on in the basement here in the recording studio of the Tracy Crokinole Boards. This will be a race to nine, like you see in a lot of the finales at the NCA yep. tournaments. Uh, normal scoring, NCA scoring, two points per round, but it just rather than uh, rather than just a four point round, we need a clear winner. We cannot end in a tie. So the way we and we want it to last a little longer, so no. we do a race to nine. Uh, these two players getting off to a really nice a really nice twenties race, three no. each before Simon was the first to miss, and yeah. Now, oh, Jeremy going for the touch 20. Right Challenge is that he didn't get the 20 and he also he didn't get the off. If Simon had been successful at that follow through 20, Jeremy would have been in really deep. But uh, instead, because Simon didn't catch that, he's, uh, he's in pretty good shape. Nicely posted. Simon's going to have a tough shot here. Shot. He's down to his last right. shot. He really needs a 20 uh, in order to, to force Good Jeremy shots. to shoot and have any chance to even tie this first round. Uh, I think he was going for that follow through, so now all Jeremy needs is a valid shot, <laughs> which he does. Played it oh, safe, yeah. lined up yeah, with the post okay. to make sure he couldn't blow all the way through the house. Yeah. So Tracy is out to a right. two to yeah, nothing lead in this race to nine. Yeah. So, round two, Simon will have hammer. Jeremy starts. Starts with a miss. That is not how you want to start a round. Oh, I have not been getting those, by the way. Hmm. Jeremy attempting the, hi the hide. Came up a little bit short on that. I think he would have liked to roll a lot closer to that peg. Um, yeah, it looks like Simon's choosing the more challenging route, but I guess he really wanted the off. So, Bugger, come on. another miss. Simon wisely pull. I think he'd like to pull that back a little bit further, because yeah, Jeremy's able to keep the play inside, like you know, um, keeping it. Yeah, he, Jeremy wants to keep it in. Simon wants to keep it out because now, now this is better. But Jeremy didn't have any chance of catching a peg, creating anything. That's why he peeled it all off oh, to force yeah. Simon back to the middle. But yeah, then Simon drains that twenty, but. Um, yeah, without forcing play back to the middle, Jeremy stands no chance at all. So instead, we're back into a 20s race, and you're just left, just left hoping that Simon will miss, come up short. It's funny because sometimes a round will start with a 20s race and instead they did it backwards and they ended the round with a 20s race. And yeah, although tied in the 20s because Simon had the hammer, he pulled out the win on that one. We're now looking at a 2 2 tie. Wow. Uh, you're straight. 2 2. 
Nice. It's so fast. Simon drains a 20 to start. I thought you liked the fast four. I, I usually do, but not with uh, shaky fingers. Not when you're losing. Oh, it's not easy. Not easy. Nice roll away. I think Jeremy would have liked to have rolled away a little bit further, but uh, yeah. Simon again getting aggressive off the pegs. Now the upside of what Jeremy did here was that it doesn't give Simon much of a much of a chance to roll in and do any kind of a twenty, but it does give Simon the opportunity to hide behind a peg, which he didn't do. But now this is the same thing. If Simon, there is an opportunity for Simon to hide behind a peg, which yeah, I think that's what he was trying to do: hit the peg and just bounce back a little bit. But um, That's a little better hide. I think he wanted to roll a little bit further, but it's still forcing. Oh. Wow. wow, yeah. Brutal. He, uh, that was definitely an error. Opens the door for Simon to drain that 20. <laughs> he made up for it that time and hit. No. Oh, oh no. Simon leaves the door open. That's that's a stretch back, but and he does. Oh, the drop stuff. back 20. Uh, yeah, that was... That was, that was... Yeah, and Jeremy's saying here now that's about as far away as it can be, and he still feels like he can drain a, a drop back 20 because he couldn't get a touch 20. He needed to hit that hard enough to get the off, or else he wouldn't have tied the round. Simon, if he had even left it in the five, it would have, then Simon would have won the round by five points. So that's a it's a very touchy, touchy weighted shot. You need to get your weight and your angle just right to do that drop back in that situation. It's such a like. Jeremy starts with another miss. That's what mm -hmm. about, right? yeah, it's one thing to be able to drain 20s, but it's another thing to be able to keep that momentum and keep that focus because, yeah, it's absolutely a mental game. Yeah, getting aggressive going off a peg, which wasn't quite successful. Oh, but no. Oh. I think Simon was trying to roll out. I don't think he was trying to roll quite that far because that was, that was very much in danger of going right off the board. Yeah, Jeremy didn't feel he had much of an angle there to get in for uh, any shot at a 20. So he's just just playing out here, trying to trying to set up a situation where he can hide behind a peg or, or yeah, maybe look for a situation where he might be able to set himself up on a self-assist. But, yeah. Oh, and there's the error he was looking for. Let's see if he can take advantage. He does not. A bounce out of that 20 hole. Simon wisely just hit and stick. Oh, Jeremy drained the 20 but did not get no. the off. Here's decision time. Jeremy either needs to get a 20 or he needs to get outside of that 15. If he could have rolled out into the 10, then Simon would have been really hard pressed nice. to get back in. But yeah, he left it there. All Simon really needed. To, I guess if Simon had hit and stick, he would have tied the round. Yeah. But instead, he, he uh, drained that 20, winning the round with that 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 shot a few shots before where Jeremy got the 20 but didn't get the off. That's That was the difference of the round right there, just that couple of inches. Simon getting a little reachy there, going after his, his open 20. Oh, Grabby Graberson over there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know well. everybody's going to see that your hand came like this. And then <laughs> you have to come back without this, right? <laughs> what would Croak and Old Between Friends be without yeah. a little bit of razzing? Refreshing. Yeah. Refreshing. Back there's uh, You're winning right Jeremy now. trying to oh, but, play with yeah. toy with Simon a little bit, keeping play on his side. Nice. And refreshing. yeah, Simon says, I don't want to play your silly games over there. And he just peeled everything right off the board, forcing it back to the middle. Oh, so and uh, got exactly what he wanted. He wanted Jeremy to, to miss an open 20 and open the door for him to be back in this round. Oh, he almost had it. He almost had it. He's got... And Jeremy just does a hit and stick. He feels that he's better to stay there rather than go for that follow through and, and set up any opportunity for Simon to take advantage of. See what he does now because it's not as, not as, okay. He managed to pull a hit and stick again there. Nice. Simon bounces it back on toward his side, so. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeremy did not like the way that came back because he has created an opportunity for Simon. Although Simon didn't get the off, so we'll see how this one plays out. 
would have been bad if, if Jeremy could have drained that 20 then he would have that would have won the round right there pretty much because yeah with one out in the 10 that Simon would have had to hit but now if Simon can pull a follow through 20 then that will seal the deal great shot yes. yeah wow Woo. Yeah, and that was yet. the difference right there. Woo. It's one of those things like you know you, you'll hear you'll hear the high level players in a really tight match. You know somebody drains an open twenty, which is something you see all the time. But if it's really tight and it's under pressure, and somebody drains a twenty, the opponent will often say, "Great shot," because they understand how much tougher it is to do under pressure. And what Simon just did right there, that follow through twenty, is something he does all the time. But to do it under pressure when you have to do it to win the round. That's uh, it's even more impressive. Perfect weight. Um, and now Simon is in great shape because he has the hammer, and there are no twenties yet. Great roll away. And Simon, I was half expecting him to go for the follow through because he plays so aggressively, but this time he did. Uh, he did roll away. We'll see what he does here. And yeah, creating very, very tight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty much the only thing he left Jeremy to work with was to come in for uh, a creative no, 20 off a peg, which he did do. That was a game winning shot. Was it? That was a good shot. Good shot. Yeah, so. Jeremy, I believe, has left the door open for Simon. There is an angle here for him to catch a 20 and maybe even get the off. Ah, he doesn't do either one. I was giving him too much credit. But, yeah. Oh, really wanted that 20. Maybe. Yeah, he was going for the 20 and sadly didn't get the 20 or the off. So Simon, Simon has an opportunity here. I think he's going to go for a ricochet 20. If he drains this, it's going to be. Oh, no. He doesn't. Oh. Jeremy's opting to play. I think he was trying to hide that behind the peg, thinking that if he could. Keep Simon from having a double, but Simon absolutely has a shot at a double here. If he can drain that, then yeah, it's gonna be uh, gonna be tough sledding after that. But all right, let's see. Beautiful twenty, and uh, just like in an earlier match, Jeremy's gonna be looking to get that twenty right back. But man, he is in a he is in a tough spot at this point. Okay, let's say he, he, even if he gets an off and a 20, oh, getting an off and a 20 would do it. So that is yeah, what, I, I uh, that's what he was going for. But at this point, all Simon needs drop, is to way, get one into the 15. A 10 wouldn't do it. If it was a valid shot just on the line, it would just tie the round. But if he can get all the way in, that'll have 25 on the board to more than overcome the, the 20. Woo, of course, Simon drains up. the 20. Friendly wow. fist pump to end it. Thanks and uh, Simon Dower come terrible. back. After after a couple of, a few tough matches to start the day, Simon come back and won. The, we always say this is the most important match of the day. Is this finale? This is the one that matters. And uh, yeah, Simon got back on the twenty train and uh, schooled Jeremy there. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you're going to see more of these battles like this. We'll get uh, you know two or four of us together and uh, duke it out and throw it up here with commentary. Hopefully for your entertainment and learning and education of the greatest game on earth. Thanks for watching.